And in business news, the federal government has introduced tax exemptions on key energy products and infrastructure, as well as fiscal incentives for the upstream and downstream sectors. The move by the government uh, says it is a determination to ensure a boost in the nation's upstream and downstream sector. The Director of Information and Public Relations, Federal Ministry of Finance, Mr. Mohamed Manga, in his statement described the fiscal incentives as groundbreaking concessions aimed at revitalizing the industry, including value-added tax modification order 2024 and the notice of tax incentives for deep offshore oil and gas production. In accordance with the oil and gas company's order 2024, according to the statements, the VAT modification order 2024 introduces exemptions on a range of a uh, key range of energy products and infrastructure, including diesel, feed gas, liquefied petroleum gas, compressed natural gas, electric vehicles, uh, infrastructure and clean cooking equipment. This is designed uh, to lower the cost of living, boost energy security, and accelerate Nigeria's transition to cleaner energy sources. Well, the Bank of Industry has announced plans to disburse loans of up to 1 billion naira to 140 manufacturing companies across the country under the federal government's 75 billion naira manufacturing sector fund. The managing director of the bank, Mr. Olashuk Mahulusi, made the disclosure at the bank's inaugural uh, annual public lecture series in Abuja. He explained that the loan is aimed to foster production, ensure economic growth, and boost job creation. The director said that about 140 manufacturing companies will receive loans of up to 1 billion naira at a single digit interest rates. According to the BOI boss, uh, the bank has disbursed more than uh, 77 billion to loans and almost 100 MSMEs, almost 1,000 across various sectors of the economy. I'm moving on the federal government through the Ministry of Arts, Culture and Creative Economy has secured a $20 million financing facility with African Export Bank uh, to support the growth of the country's creative industries. Minister of Arts, Culture and Creative Economy, as Anatu Masawa, disclosed this in a statement through our media aid, Nabuja. She, the minister said uh, the African Export Import Bank is crucial, uh, a crucial component of the 2030 vision and one of the ministry's ambitious goals for the creative economy. She emphasized the critical role of global partnership in driving the country's vision forward, stating that Destination 2030, Nigeria Everywhere, is the ministry's roadmap to transforming Nigeria into a global cultural powerhouse, while calling on all government uh, stakeholders to invest in the vision. President and Chairman of Africa's in Bank, Professor Benedict Rama, announced the partnership in New York and said the $200 million facility is to support the ministry's new initiative for sustainable economic growth. President Bola Tinumbu has taxed the industrial training fund to upscale 5 million Nigerian artisans to international standards annually. Also, the quality of service delivered is to be upgraded and artisans licensed to promote the growth of small and medium-sized enterprises. Speaking with me yesterday on our flagship business show, Director General and uh, Chief Executive of the Industrial Trading Fund, Dr. Afis Ogun, emphasized the importance of licensing all categories of artisans operating in the country. We are going to a point where every artisan in Nigeria, we are practicing license. We no longer want quackery in Nigeria. We don't want a situation where a company will be established by foreigner or by Nigerian. They will say they are taking people on part time and they will not be giving them their dues. We want real licensed artisans to practice in our industries. This is why we collect money from the contributing employers to provide them with the workforce, qualified workforce. So they will register and it is compulsory for them to register, to be trained up to international standard and to be licensed. We are also training the trainers, as I told you, from those private training centers. Most of this training for free. Most of the training for free. We are training them and this uh, 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 is one thing I have noticed that they value a lot and they are grateful to, the, to ITF and the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Ethiopian government has announced that the country's economy grew over 8% in its fiscal year which ended on July 7th. Minister of Planning and Development, Futsum Asefa, said 
uh, building on 8.1% economic growth. The fiscal year, the Eastern African economy expects double-digit economic growth in the current fiscal year, supported by the recent move to implement comprehensive macroeconomic reforms. She said agricultural and industrial sector contributions significant, contributed significantly to the country's overall economic growth. As the first phase of Ethiopia's homegrown economic reforms, paying particular attention to these sectors. The minister singled out the country's industrial sector, which has grown 9.2% with a big and medium uh, manufacturing industries registering a 10.2% growth. Ethiopia, with about 132 million people, is the second most populous nation in Africa after Nigeria and one of the fastest growing economies on the continent. Asian shares retreated from a 32-month peak today as the sizzling rally in Hong Kong took a breather, while Japan's Nikkei jumped as the risk of further tightening in monetary policy faded. FTSE features narrowed earlier losses and were last down 0.1%. Eurostock 50 features still fell 0.5%. Nasdaq features dropped 0.3%. And S&P futures slipped 0.2%. Severe Asian market included uh, several Asian markets, uh, including South Korea, Taiwan, and mainland China, are closed for the day. MSCI's broadest index of Asian Pacific shares outside of Japan fell 1%, largely driven by a 1.6% drop in Hong Kong Hang Seng Index after meeting with the central bank governor, Kaozo Yuda. The Nikkei outperformed with a jump of 2% as the Japan's newly elected prime minister, Shigeru Isiba, said the country was not ready for additional rate hikes. The Philippines Internal Revenue Agency has revealed plans to impose a 12% value-added tax on digital services offered by tech giants such as Amazon, Netflix, Disney, and Alphabet to a level uh, to level the playing field with domestic brick and mortar players. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. had earlier signed into law the imposition of VAT on non-resident digital service providers such as streaming services and online search engines. But now only domestic digital service providers are now subject to paying it. According to the Commissioner of the Bureau, Mr. Romeo Lamungi, this will promote fair competition amongst businesses that are profiting from consumers in the country. The President's Communications Office reveals that government aims to allocate 5% of its revenue to fund projects uh, for creative industries. The office added that educational and public interest services would be exempt from the tax via VAT. Crude oil prices rose today as the prospect of widening Middle East conflict that could disrupt crude oil flows uh, from the region overshadowed a stronger global supply outlook. U.S. West Texas intermediate crude rose to sell for $71.56 with a, uh, an upward price review of 2.08%. Brent also experienced an uptick of 1.94% selling at uh, $75.33 per barrel. Bonnie Light sells for $78.62 with a decline of 2.84%. And the OPEC basket dealers are offering $71.34 with a downward price review of 2.27%.